The next problem which we are going to discuss here is find the radius of curvature of the curve y is equal to x square plus bx plus c at x is equal to 1 by 2 a bracket root a square minus 1 minus b. A very simple question and they are not given any point of intersection here. So, the same way we find the, we put in the formula it is radius of curvature for the Cartesian curve is rho is equal to 1 plus d over dx square whole is to 3 by 2 upon d square by dx square. That means we have the equation here y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Now we differentiate this with respect to x. We get dy by dx is equal to 2ax plus b. Now, since they given only one point, that is at x is equal to 1 by 2a into whatsoever. So, we find, so dy by dx at the given point at x is equal to 1 by 2a root of a square minus 1 minus b will be, simply put the value of x here, that is equal to what? 2a into 1 by 2a, 2a or x, 1 by 2a bracket root of a square minus 1 minus b plus b, fine. So, here b and b cancels, 2a, 2a cancels, I get simply dy by dx will be equal to root of a square minus 1. Now, According to the formula of radius of curvature, we need to find d square over dx square. So, here d over dx is 2ax plus p. So, d square y by dx square will be simply 2a. That's it. Therefore, the radius of curvature formula is rho is equal to 1 plus dy by dx square whole raised to 3 by 2 upon d square y by dx square that is 1 plus d over dx is root of a square minus 1 the whole square. So, we have root of a square minus 1 the whole square raised to 3 by 2 upon d square by dx square is we have it as 2a. So, this will be now 1 plus root of a square minus 1 the whole square the root will go off. So, what remains a square minus 1 raised to 3 by 2 upon 2a that will be 1 1 cancels a square raised to 3 by 2 see here a square raised to 3 by 2 2 2 cancels upon 2a this is nothing but a cube upon 2a that is a square by 2. So, the radius of curvature is rho is equal to a square by 2 that is the answer for this question that is it. The next problem which we will be solving is find the radius of curvature of the curve y square is equal to 4a square bracket 2 minus x upon x for the curve meets the x axis. Now, in this question is clearly mentioned the curve meets the x axis. So, remember there are two things when the curve meets the x axis then the coordinate y is equal to 0 and if the curve meets the y axis then the coordinate x is equal to 0. So, here since the given curve meets the x axis, then obviously y is equal to 0. So, we put y is equal to 0 in the question and find the value of x so that we get the points of intersection. So, let us do it. Fine. So, here we have this one and the given curve meets the x axis. So, implies y is equal to 0. Now, this y is equal to 0 put in 1. So, put y is equal to 0 in 1. So, so, this becomes 0, we get 4a square into 2a minus x is equal to 0, that is 2a minus x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 2a, fine. So, for y is equal to 0, we have x is equal to 2a, therefore, 2a comma 0 is what? The point of intersection. So, we have found a point of intersection here. So, as usual, we will go with the formula. It is radius of curvature rho is equal to 1 plus g of dx whole square is 3 to 3 by 2 upon d square by dx square. So, what we will do first? See here, if you see this question, I think there is a possibility to make it simple. 
Why you know? If I open this bracket, I can write y square is equal to 8a cube by x minus. See, if multiply 4a square x by x cancels, we get only 4a square. Here, differentiation becomes easier. Now, let's differentiate. So, differentiate with respect to x. We get 2y dy by dx is equal to 8a cube as it is. Now, what is the differentiation of 1 by x? Differentiation of 1 by x is very important to remember. Differentiation of 1 by x is always minus 1 by x square. Fine. Therefore, it implies we have dy by dx is equal to minus 8a cube by 2y x square. That is minus 4a cube by x square y. Fine. We have this now. Now what you to do? We need to find dy by dx at the point 2a comma 0. That means in place of x put 2a and y put 0. But here what happens? See carefully. y is done. So anything but 0 is what? Infinity. We get infinity. Fine. So we are getting here as dy by dx is infinity. And if you remember the theory we discussed before solving this problem, we discussed that the radius of curvature for the Cartesian curve follows rho is equal to 1 plus dy by dx whole square whole raised to 3 by 2 upon d square by dx square. But in case if at any point dy by dx becomes infinity, then we use this formula. Therefore, we use this formula rho is equal to 1 plus dx by dy the whole square raised to 3 by 2 upon d square x by dy square. Fine. Therefore, what we can do here is that we have dy by dx as minus 4a cube by x square y. So, dx by dy will be ulta opposite, opposite of it. So, minus x square y divided by 4a cube. I hope you got this. See, dy by dx is minus 4a cube by x square y. So, dx by dy will be inverse, inverse it. So, we get minus x square y upon 4a cube. Therefore, that implies, now see, dx by dy at the point 2a comma 0 will be nothing but y is up. Uh, anything into zero, multiply by 0 is 0 only. So, we get it as 0. So, we get dx by dy at the point 2a comma 0 will be 0. Now, with this, we will find d square x by dy square. So, d square x by dy square will be. Note that in the previous problem, we were finding d square y by dx square. That means, we are differentiating with respect to what? x. But here, we are going to discuss this. Uh, this sorry. We are going to differentiate with respect to y. So, in the previous, so we need to, so we need to find here d square y by dx square. So, note that in the previous problems, we were doing d square y by dx square. That is, we were differentiating with respect to x. But here, y is done. That means, we are differentiating with respect to y here. So, be careful. That means, here in differential x will be what? dx by dy again. That means, this will be minus 1 by 4a cube is outside constant into. Now here, x square y, we are going to differentiate. x square into y will be product rule. So if you apply the product rule, x square as it is, differentiation, see, since you are differentiating with respect to y, differentiation y is 1 only plus y square as it is, and dx, differentiation, is, differentiation of x square will be 2x dx by dy. Therefore, d square x by dy square will be minus 1 by 4a cube into x square, okay, plus, see, dx by dy is 0, that's all. Therefore, that implies d square x by dy square at the point 2a comma 0 will be minus 1 by 4a cube into 4a square, that is minus 1 by a. Now, we have found both dx by dy, it is 0 and d square x by dy square, 
which is required for the formula. Now let's put in the formula that implies the radius of curvature rho is equal to 1 plus 0 whole raised to 3 by 2 upon minus 1 by a. So 1 raised to 1 only, so it is coming as minus a. But the radius of curvature is always positive. So radius of curvature for this is mod of rho is equal to a. That's the answer which we need to find. Or we can simply write implies the radius of curvature rho is equal to that's it. That's the answer because radius of curvature is always a positive value. That's it. Fine. We have solved problems related to radius of curvature in Cartesian forms. If you have any doubts or any other questions which you want me to solve, then please post in the comment below or you can directly mail me. Uh, the next video, I will be solving other problems relating to the radius of curvature for uh, parametric curves as well as polar curves. So, please find the videos and refer them or you can go to the playlist and find the videos there. Till then, keep watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.